In the wake of cases of vandalism and claims of sabotage on the state of art standard gauge railway, President Kenyatta has now directed security agencies to use all machinery at their disposal to apprehend and prosecute those behind the act, saying the SGR is a national project and the government cannot allow criminal elements to sabotage the economy. Kuna wale wachache katietu ambao hawapendi mema wanajiona wenyewe ati kuna mtu anafikiria ati ndio uhuru labda au serikali ionekane vibaya unaenda unangoa reli unaenda unangoa stima za kushikilia ati ndio ionekane ya kwamba serikali a ah, imeshindwa na kazi Nataka ni kuambie hii reli sio ya uhuru. Hii reli sio ya ruto. Hii reli sio ya serikali. Hii reli imejengwa na pesa ya wakenya milioni 45. While launching the maiden passenger train from Mombasa to Nairobi, the president issued a stern warning to individuals intending to sabotage the project that they will be met with the full force of the law, pledging to endorse even the punitive of punishments as meted out by the courts. Economic sabotage ni ile inaitwa capital offense. Yaani ukihukumiwa wewe unaenda kinyonga. Wale ambao watahukumiwa kwa sababu ya kuharibu mali ya wakenya kuharibu haki ya watoto na watoto wa watoto wetu nasema Mungu nisamehe lakini hawa ambao watahukumiwa nitaweka kidole wanyongwe The president remarks come amid an ongoing reparation targeting criminals linked to the recent destruction of the railway line at Kibanda Hasara 30 kilometers from Mombasa town. Police are currently holding four suspects believed to be members of an organized criminal gang and economic saboteurs. Inspector General of Police Joseph Bwenet said security patrols will be intensified along the entire length of the railway line and that anyone found engaging in any form of vandalism will be dealt with accordingly. I wish to take this opportunity to warn anybody with those kinds of intentions that please stay away from any part of our critical natural infrastructure, be it the rail line, be it our road furniture, be it power pylons, or be it any part of uh, water and our sewerage systems, because that kind of vandalism has serious effect on the infrastructure itself and on the economy at large. So we must protect it. The recent cases of vandalism were reported last Friday where criminals destroyed crucial communication cables.